Blessings, blessings to you guys. Blessings. Blessings. Man, yes. we want you guys to hear these clips. Yes. And after that, we have a lot to unveil in this whole scar. Yeah. You ready, baby? I'm ready. Listen to this. When you get finished, you're watching by internet. Yes, Lord. He said there's 12 people in this night that he's calling for a sacrifice. A sacrifice. $1,090. Because this is your time of favor. All of us are not the same, people. And we partner with this vision by giving uh, a partnership seed of a thousand Kenya shillings. Those that have it. God always does something beautiful with me. Those who are believing God for marriage. Come. So all you marriage. Hi. Papa only saw 10. This is how we will know. Papa, this is how we will know. This is how we will know that the 10 are the 10. And others will weed themselves out. <laughs> Somebody said, wow. <laughs> Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. If you have it, move forward. So you heard every one of them. And there is more of so-called preachers or prosperity preachers that we did, not, we did not put here. But the truth will always set each and every one of us free. In this giving thing, if you read the Bible, yes, there's a, a, some places that the minister of God asks people to bring. The lady, you know, the, 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 the lady that had only one child and the prophet asked for something. The prophet did not say, said God gave you or God gave him the word to teach or to tell. There's a lot of ways that these people manipulate the scriptures. That's why we are really against all this, their deception. How can you tell somebody to pay 1000 to get married? This is all lies and garbage. How will you tell somebody to buy water or holy water for greatness in their life or credit card for blessings of God or so bribe God for God to bless you? This is all garbage. Very much so. Garbage, deception, and, and so-called uh, 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 using the name of Christ Jesus. And they also say that, you know, give a certain amount if you want um, a anointing. Yeah. Uh, give a certain amount if you want the as a car anointing. Or, like, like, if you want God to bless you with a car, this is the number. Or so a seed of 777 All this mm -hmm. is just garbage. I saw a comment that somebody commented on our post that, that made me more sad. Mm -hmm. This person said, oh, you know, you stop attacking the men of God. At least they, 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 they're raising this money so that uh, when they go for retirement, they can use this money. Look at this. Look at the comment. So why can't they, these preachers tell these people, oh, we make it, we're getting all this money so we can use it to, you know, in, in our retirement days, we can use it for ourselves. It will make a lot of sense. People will give willingly. Mm -hmm. We are not against giving. Yes. We are not against sowing seed. We are not against tithe because we do these things. Yes. But we are bringing this video in order to let people know all those things is great. Do it willingly. God loves a cheerful giver. Yes. Not when you have been scammed. Not when you have been lied to. Mm-hmm. Anytime a preacher manipulates you for giving, it's not of God. Right. God never, aimed, even if you give all your money, all your business money, all your credit, whatsoever, you go broke, period. Yeah. Because God is not in it. I want y'all to know, through, through, the, through the beginning of our ministry, we talked about this a lot. And people were confusing it, the words that we were saying. So we're going to use this time to clear it up. Yes. Okay. A lot of people have wrote us through emails and they have been manipulated so many times through these false prof prophets, these false ministries, and they have lost their place to stay. Yeah. They have lost their cars. <laughs> they have also lost some of their family members because the family members are tired. Because you over here get manipulated to give and your electricity is off in your house. And your spouse is tired. 
and you're just pushing and people have pushed their family members away from church because of churches like this, because they are gaining wealth from stupidity. They don't care. They don't care if you're living in a hotel. Okay. So this is what we're saying. It is good to give, but give in good ground. Okay. Give in good ground. Church need givers. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, that's the truth. They need givers because it it, is the building costs money. Yeah. The electricity costs money. Things cost money. Okay. And so my thing is, if you know that your church is a, a church that that is doing the will of God, the pastor is is wonderful. The pastor wife is wonderful. All the ministers are wonderful. They're at least trying their best to live a saved life. Yeah. Give into good ground. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. If you have the finances in your church to take care of your pastor and wife, do it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. can't do that. If your church is struggling with money, the pastor needs to get a job, period. (laughs) Okay. But if your church can sustain a home for his pastor and wife, that is lovely. I love it. It's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But, um, uh, but people do need to learn how to give. um, I don't understand. Uh, why a lot of people are misunderstanding what we are saying here. It don't make sense. It is not, it is, we are keeping it real and keeping it clear. Yeah. Now, another thing, when you are going through, del- when you're going to get deliverance, this uh, p- pastor should not be charging you any type of money for deliverance. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you go to a minister of God, he is, he did not charge you anything, right? You come in there, you get your, your, your deliverance, right? If you want to give him a blessed offering, do so. Do it. Do it. I don't care if it's $2 million, give him the $2 million and say, God bless you for your hard work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's easy. Yeah. Cause uh, it's still the same way of iron, sharpen it iron. Yeah. When you encourage people like this, it will make them more hunger. Yes, even without your money, they are really hunger for God. Right. But when you still do that, it, you know, it, that's you sharpening him. You yeah. know, you, not uh, not when uh, when you when you okay. What what would I give God? Like what my all my wife said. No, do it willingly. Right. If the pastor would do it freely, because the Bible says freely we receive. Really, we give if he will do it freely, just right. If it pleases your heart to do it, mm-hmm. you know, you do it right. Bless, they need your blessing, they need your offering, they need your seed, they need all those things, right? Churches need it, ministers need it, absolutely. You know, you use it to encourage them, you use it to like push them, hey, keep going, yeah. Because so. so many times God will speak to people to help a church. Yes. God will give you a dream or a vision or even in, so, in some one way or the other, speaking in your mind for you to be a, a blessing to a church. Do it. Please, please bless these churches that are in good ground. Yeah. Another thing, let's talk about conferences. No one should charge for conferences. No one. No one. Okay? But if you feel the power of God and it moved heavily and you decided on, even if it, even if it wasn't a good conference, if you decide on your own to give, give, please, yeah, please, because giving is needed. Yeah. Okay? Cause I, I remember when somebody came, came to our conference, we, after the deliverance and everything, the whole, you know, service was great. And somebody was like, I don't want to give to you cause you preach against it. I said, what is this? If if God wants you to do it, do it. If God, man, we know, uh, even our many our conferences, we never bring up offering or tithe. Yes. But anyone that brings it up in their church, because there is a time for everything. Yeah. In the service, there will be a time that people will call okay offering time. Great. Yeah, something wrong with offering. In the church. There is a time that they will call, okay, seat time. If you have anything that God places in your mind to come and so, you know, we have light, we need to pay bills and all that. 
is awesome. When they say something like this, if you want to support them, support them. You know, if it's in your heart, just do it. Right. Don't do it like God is going to bless me. No, just pour. If if they say, okay, it's a tight time. If you have your tight, come up. If you have your tight, do it willingly. Right. It's only when they start telling you oh, your tight should be this or this is how, then that's when you know, okay, something is wrong here. Mm -hmm. But if, if they call for a offering time, let everybody come and, you know, with joyful sharing and all that, just give to God. Do it. It's accepted. Yes. But when it comes to manipulation. And lying. The, 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 I feel the presence of God. I feel God right now. Uh, the, the, tap into this anointing that is, that is raining right now. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a mess. Yeah. That's the most disgusting that a preacher will say. Man, I feel the power of God. I feel the move. There's a great move. Tap, tap, tap into this. The most disgusting thing that a preacher can say out of their mouth. Blasphemy. That's what it is. Denying the power of God. So because the power, you feel, you feel the deception in you to bring it up, then you bring it up, that's when, wow. Yeah, we don't like the lying and manipulation part of, uh, uh, they have polluted the church with that. Yeah. Okay? So that is what we're saying here. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if, um, if a prophet prophesies to you and you feel the need to give them a love offering, do so. Do it. It's nothing wrong with that. Do it. You know, but if the prophet is like my husband saying, they lying, the Lord said, give your last, give 5,000, give this. It's a, lie it's a lie from the pit of hell. OK, give willingly from whatever you you can afford. OK, even uh, one of the binos tell uh, uh, some videos that I'll be, I'll be seeing. She would tell them, give 1,000. I know you have it because you know you have it in your bank. Look at that. Yeah. Do you see how the, she twists on some things? That can make somebody feel guilty. Yes. Oh, if she knows this, that means God knows I have this 1,000. And what did she just say? Oh, if you give that 1,000, God is going to abundantly bless you. So she, that person will feel guilty. Mm -hmm. You know, then, okay, let me give 1,000 and go home broke. Right. That's the way they use this manipulation in the church. And hmm, we're not going nowhere. We are going to keep on bringing out their videos, expose every one of them. We need only one person to wake up. Yeah. You know, and thank God. I'm think, I'm, I thank God that we're bringing up this video because I don't, I personally don't understand why, why people are misunderstanding what we're saying. Yeah, yeah. You know? And um, they, they, they would throw some scriptures on us. Like, because all they see is when we expose their pastor. Right. They don't see when we are preaching on Sundays. Yeah. They okay. don't see those messages, you know, because they want to see what they want to see. Right. Oh, you're coming against my man of God or my papa in the Lord or my daddy in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that's when you see them pop up on, 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 on a video. Mm -hmm. But hey, if you go, you, we teach all those things. We teach the necessary, the, you know, the great thing in giving. But we don't make people to know, oh, you, when you give, God is going to bless you. God is not a, is not a, a gambler or God is yeah. not a baby. Right. He's not a kid. We don't give because we want God to bless us. We give because of the joy of the Lord and in he, our heart. And then he will bless you. Like, and he will. Let God do it on his own on terms. On his own time, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it do say in the Bible, if you give, he will give back to yeah. you, you know, but you got to, you got to give in the right ground. If you're giving into a false prophet, you think God will honor that? No, <laughs> you're just wasting your money. And that's what we're trying to tell people. Yeah. If you're giving into these false ministries, it's a waste of time in giving, giving, and they're, and giving. And they're laughing at you yes. in, the, in the back. They're laughing. They're, yes. When they start sharing that money, they'll be giggling. Yeah, it's, it's a kingdom. joke to them. It's, it's not. It's, it's a joke to them, but for you, it's serious because you want the Lord to bless you, you know? Um, for another example is um, if you have a faithful uh, pastor and wife and they've just been doing so lovely and your church has been financially blessed, if you want to bless your, your pastor and wife with a car, a brand new house, that's y'all's business. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's y'all business. Uh, but also remember that we do need to um, care about the poor, yeah. the sick, and the hungry. Yeah. So it's good for churches to also care about those who are in need. It's yeah. very important. Yeah. And we practice what we preach. Yeah. Me and my husband, we have a, a donation uh, program yeah. uh, to give back when people give to us. Yeah. And those who have given into this ministry, we 100% appreciate it mm -hmm. because we do give back for to people that are in need, sick, and to widows. Yeah. We take it very, very serious, yeah. but we will love everyone. And there's some great churches out yeah. there who really care about people who mm -hmm. have churches because yeah. they we do they do stay in contact with us. They have churches. They love their people and they do think properly. Yeah. OK, they yeah. do things properly. And God still blesses them. They do conferences, they do celebrations, and they don't charge. Now, when everybody know that you need something done in church, you can say it. Yeah. Hey, we we need to it. we need to. Uh, we got a thing that we want to do. If y'all would like to give, please give a little yeah. bit more if you have it. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing yeah. wrong with pastors asking for that. Yeah. They're keeping it 100. Yeah, real. They're keeping it real, okay? So that's what we're saying here, everybody. I hope you, you understand. And it was another topic that I wanted to. It's even, the same even, topic. Even if some people don't understand, we're still going to do more videos like I this know. in the future. Because there are some people that hear what they want to hear. Yeah, they. But we will never quit speaking the truth. That's yes. one thing I know, and that's one thing we believe in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Another thing, if if um, you know, someone praying for you and they've been encouraging you for yeah. a long period of time, if you want to give to them, give to them. You yeah. know, um, and I'm a great give. My, me and my husband yeah. are great givers. Yeah. We don't play about giving. You know, if 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 someone prophesies us, we we will bless them if we have it. If we don't, we don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, that that white there shouldn't shouldn't be the main source of ministry. Yeah. It's like y'all make sure y'all give us our money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And manipulate people yeah. into doing it. But um, you want to say something? Yeah. Like, another thing is when sometimes people want to you know have a confirmation from god you know there's some giving that it can just be out of your you know like out of nowhere you just do yeah you know just do it willingly some somebody on the on the roadside or church or just do it not all the time because sometimes you can close god might be speaking in right away but you still want confirmation and before you know it doubt and will come maybe somebody on the street or somebody in need and that's mm -hmm. why a lot of us has missed our angel season of our blessing. Mm -hmm. Everything, you know, we have to know there will be some time you might not hear from God and he's needed at that time to be a help. Remember how Abraham, unknown to him, helped an angel. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we always be a lot because we can use it and we can misuse it and miss our blessings or our a good thing that God has already placed in our heart. And, and I wish people would give with, uh, with wisdom, though. Like, yeah. I've seen people who will go to conferences, you know, and um, the pastor will manipulate them into, you know, giving. Mm -hmm. And then they cry because um, they didn't, they couldn't pay rent. Yeah. I, I remember you when... You know, I'm just like, this is crazy. I remember when... Uh, uh, Brian Kahn manipulated people so much. I was surprised that he felt so guilty about mm -hmm. about the scam, and he began to ask people if you know if you know that you you came here and you are owing rent, raise your hand. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he paid them. I don't know yeah. if he gave. But all this was on camera. It was so on camera. All a lot of things like this can also be manipulated. Mm -hmm. So that people will think they're really giving, they're really doing this. But the same Brian Kine, somebody currently, somebody said well, they went to the conference and he's selling anointing water. I don't know what's wrong with all these people. Four hundred dollars. Yeah, because at first he he was telling people it didn't have anointing in it that he just selling it. Now all of a sudden, I hope it's not that same water. I hope it ain't that same water either. Because whether people like it or not. Somebody will send it to us, and we're going to expose that deception. 
We're Even the anointed it. oil, like people are uh, making a market off anointed oil, even on, especially on TikTok. Mm -hmm. They got this anointed oil, you know, and they just um, making a profit off of it, you know. And my thing is, is that like you, you got to be careful how you do things because God is watching. Mm -hmm. You know, God is really watching. I know a lot of people write books. Um, they have uh, music CDs. You got to be very careful of you are selling things in your church and you just got to be very, very careful on that. Like you, yeah. you just need to build up a website and do it properly. Yeah. You know, don't, 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 don't because you want to sell anything, then you add anointed in it. Be careful. That's wrong. If you want to sell something, sell it. Right. But stop adding anointing. Oh, you so an man, uh, this t-shirt is so powerful, so anointed. This book is so powerful, it's so anointed. That's the problem. Then it will be like people are selling the gift of God or things of God. Make it as, a, as your business. It's great. You know, selling Bibles. A lot of people are selling Bible. That's great. They're, they're not telling you this anointed Bible. Because Bible is in Walmart, <laughs> right? It's some places. So... Walmart will not tell you, oh, man, th this Bible is so powerful, so anointed. It's only when you buy it, you can consecrate that. You can turn it into powerful. It will become powerful for you. So stop selling anything and, quote, unquote, man, the power of God is a lie. Yes, there, there will be a time somebody can use anything that they buy from you because of their power prayer. It can still turn into the grace because it's all about the grace of God. Mm -hmm. But stop manipulating people that this is so powerful. Mm -hmm. We have seen it all. We have had it all. It, it, it is ridiculous when people, quote unquote, pastors are saying and doing all this. One in, in Nigeria was selling key, selling key to people that this key is so powerful. When you unlock that, that key, you unlock your destiny. And selling those keys. A lot of people. Well, they didn't buy them, did the credit cards. A lot of people, you, you know, all this is just lies. Mm -hmm. All this is just scam. This is why we cry. That's why we're here. A lot of people are crying out too. A lot of people are exposing all this darkness. And we will never stop. Yeah, back to what I was saying, you got to be very careful, you know. Um, I believe if somebody going to write a book, you know, you know, put it on your website, yeah. do things properly, yeah. um, do it, like, have some books in your cars or something, but just, like, just selling things in the church, you got to be very careful with that. God is, yeah. God is really, really watching. And, and then also, I want to talk about the musicians and the singers, because yeah. I know that we talk about that as well. Yeah. You know, we, I feel like... Um, if, if you have set aside, if, okay, if I'm a, if I have a church, right. And I know that we need singers and, and musicians, right. Mm -hmm. Musicians or musical instruments and all that. And, you know, people are busy, Yeah. you know, they, they got, they got their lives and you just want this so bad. Um, but it's getting to the point that the gospel artists and the worshipers are making a profit off of this. Yeah. Um, and nobody is really singing for the Lord. That's why a lot of them are, are disrespecting God <laughs> yeah, so much now. Too much entertainment. It's, yes, be, as become entertainment. But what it is, if you truly love the Lord and you want to sing for the Lord in this church, you shouldn't be over here saying, I need $60,000, period, before I sing or do anything. My thing is... The pastor, I believe the pastor is smart enough to know that he can give every one of y'all a love offering. And whatever the love offering is, receive it yeah. with joy. Yeah. Okay? But this charging people all sorts of, of money, I mean, are you doing it for, for a gain? But if, if this church has the finances to uh, provide for the musicians and the singers, then so be it. It's all right with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, if the church don't have it and you over here going overboard with the prices you charge, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, it's, um, you know, the, the Bible says that God 
uh, your gift will will make room for you, mm-hmm. right? I don't think people are stupid. They know you got bills yeah. to pay. Yeah. They know that you you could have worked on this day. Yeah. The pastor know how much to give you and how much they can afford. Yeah. But if you don't like that, then go into the secular industry. And I love I love how some pastors will say, hey. You know, we bring in a musician or whatsoever, you know, you can support. I, I, I love seeing something like that. You know, we can give this person a love offering or we have a pastor coming or a prophet coming. You know, uh, uh, you know, at least I know uh, the Holy Spirit is with, with this minister. Uh, we're going to give this minister a love offering when they're leaving. That's right. awesome. I, I totally agree with that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's at all. awesome. You know, because... Uh, the musicians and uh, some major so-called mega preachers, they charge a lot of money they charge a lot. to come and preach for 10 seconds and ask offering for, uh, ask seed for, for two hours. Yeah. It's sad. Which is very wrong. Which is very wrong. I feel like if you're a pastor and you want a, uh, a, a prophet, a, pro- a minister to come to your church, um, yeah, you're going to definitely call them and you're going to see their rules right. Now, if they're coming uh, and saying, I charge this certain amount per hour, they, you don't need to be coming, they don't need to be coming to your church. What are they going to preach? What are they going to say? They're not Jesus. That is new. They're not Jesus. And after the, after the whole amount, people still remain the same. Yeah, it's, just, it's ridiculous. So this is what they need to say. Hey, if you could just pay for our travels, pay for our hotel, and if, hey, we will receive a love offering. Yeah. You know. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But, man, I've heard, man, I heard one pastor, and he charged, um, I think, 3000 per hour. Or, you know, that was a long time ago, though. But, boy. I bet you they're charging more now. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, you know, I think uh, people are not stupid these days. They know that people have a life. They have uh, things they need to do in their life. If people can just respect the kingdom of God Mm -hmm. and allow people to give on their own and on their own terms, that will be that'll be a a great thing. But the pressure even for um, for gospel artists, like I said, again, you know, uh, I remember my father tried to invite this major gospel artist back in those times. It was 60,000. And, you know, they just, it, it, it was a small town and the small town couldn't afford that, you know? And um, she was very uh, uh, mean when it comes to her money. And if y'all don't do it this way, I need a limousine. I need this. I need that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, the humbleness ain't there anymore. You know, God is watching. Mm-hmm. If, if people would just humble themselves, you know, and it, hey, if you want to eat, look, if a pastor want to pay for his own way, that's fine. But everybody don't got that money. Everybody don't have money to get on the airplane, uh, you know, but if the pastor was be like, hey, I want to pay my own way, um, but y'all can give me a love, a love offer, fine, you know, but uh, make that agreement. And uh, yeah, but I, I, I really feel like if these people are just being, it ain't no feel. This is the way the Lord wants it to be. But the, it has gotten out of control. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out of control. And God be speaking to us that uh, the church is an error. Yeah, the church is an era. They um, they have made this uh, the church entertainment. Yeah. It's about business. money. It, they have made it into a business, but they forgot about those who are in need. Man, when 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 we leave here and we are uh, being judged, God is going to say, "Did you care about the widows? Mm-hmm. Did you care about the sick? Did you care about the hungry? Did you care about the poor? Did you care?" Because Jesus said that He came to save the poor um, and the sick. But now the pastors, the gospel artists, mm. the musicians, they're just, they're disappointing in these times. And now when we talk about it, um, they think we're weird. Another thing. And they miss, they miss, misunderstand what we mm. say. But I, I pray that y'all hear us clearly. Yeah. It's great to give. It's nothing wrong with giving. Be giving good ground. Another thing is just, I saw a comment, somebody commented that this so-called prophet charges people for one-on-one. Oh, wow. We have exposed some videos of Nat- Lucy, Lucy, Natasha, and the husband charging $100 for one-on-one. And uh, somebody said, 
but 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 some people will still go to psychic and pair for one on one. Mm. So you see the manipulation, right? You see what how like so now they're regarding the people that are supposed to be a true prophet as psychics now. So you'll see all that. So when they begin to charge this money one on one for prayer, one on one for deliverance, they charge all this money. That's what they are. The people are just trying to wake a lot of people up. If they are doing the same thing with psychics, they are simply psychic. Yep, they are period. simply uh, uh, witches, period. native doctors. You have to understand this. No hating, but the truth. Because the Bible says only the truth can set us free. These people are so greed. They are so greedy that they, they care less about your soul, your feelings. Yes. They don't care because a lot of people in their church will pay for one-on-one -on -one and sleep outside when they get kicked out. If you call the same pastors or the same preachers, they will ask you, are you a member of this church? After sowing all this seed, after doing all this. So mm -hmm. people need to be careful. Mark all these people. Stay away from them. Mm -hmm. Stay away from this people. I even saw Passion, Passion Java selling his own picture. Oh my for goodness. Huge, for a huge amount of money. There will be some people that will not be able to get this money. Wow. Wow. wow and people wow. buying this. People believe in this. Paul says, Who has bewinged you? Wow. Paying for one-on-one, -on -one, buying a, 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 a photo of a pastor is the same thing when Catholics are pay, uh, they, they put the paint of some called Jesus in their house. You guys are the same thing. There's no power in any picture. No single power. It's a waste of time. Oh. But people are out here tripping. Who has bewinched you? Lord, Lord, Lord. My goodness, my goodness. Mm. Well, listen, y'all. I just want to thank you for watching. And um, y'all just keep praying yeah. that it will be a great turnaround in the churches again. Because mm -hmm. uh, the Lord is not pleased. Mm. He's not pleased at all was going down in a lot of churches, but there's some great churches out yeah, there. there and we just pray that God continue to bless them, even financially, yeah. Yeah. that God will continue to bring people into their life who will treat them right as well. Because uh, I know that some people can use ministers of God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But ministers of God need to learn how to be straightforward as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Don't let nobody use you for your anointing. Mm -hmm. Shut the doors on them. Because you're, you need to let people know that you're not God. You're not, you not God. You're not God. You're just a servant. You know, you're a servant of the Lord. Uh, so, yes, please, y'all, be kind to ministers of God, prophets of God, those who took their time out, and bless them. True ones. And if you don't have any money, Pray for them. Yeah. And if you just have a dollar, you would not get mocked if you give them a dollar. Okay? Uh, but just do everything in wisdom. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.